What's up you guys, this is Eric with Ozone TCG. Today we're gonna to take a look at a way to use some of the master dual assets. We wanna go ahead and take a look at the files. Um, this is for educational purposes. As always, um, I do not condone any kind of theft of property or any kind. We are just gonna go ahead and take a look at the assets and kinda of see how the game has been leaked. We knew about the Burst of Destiny cards and some of the other cards afterwards. Um, a couple a couple days ago, at least a week by now, um, there was an update in Master Duel that actually inserted a lot of the card art from Burst of Destiny, some of those cards, like the Sword Soul cards, um, and Masquerade the Blazing Dragon. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys exactly how to find out um, how to navigate that program and exactly what you need to do. Um, first off, we're going to go to the Asset Studio download. This is from Softpedia. I will go ahead and provide a link in the description. Um, it, it's a very basic program. All it does is take the assets from a Unity uh, game, so in this case Master Duel, because it's built on the game engine called Unity, um, and it just sorts through the assets that you have downloaded onto your system. In this case, of course, I'm using my desktop computer, um, and then yeah, we're just going to go ahead and show you guys exactly how to navigate it. Of course, you're going to go over to the free download. You're going to download it. Um, you can do the, depending on which net server, the .NET um, software you have, you'll want to download the appropriate one. I'm going to use the .NET 6 here. Um, you can go ahead and click it to start manually. So it's going to download here um, about 10 seconds for me just because of my internet speed. Okay, and as soon as you have Assets to do a GUI download, you're going to go over to wherever you downloaded it to. In my case, Downloads folder, and then I already had this installed a while ago. And then you're going to go over to the Assets Studio GUI executable. You're going to click that, open that up, and then we're going to go over to File load folder and this is where it gets a little bit different i already had this set up but for me you're going to see this blurred um, in post uh, you're going to go over to wherever your steam games are downloaded to if that's your c drive fine use that um, for me i keep it on a secondary hard drive away from my primary nvme drive you're going to go over to your wherever your steam library is in my case mine is literally called the steam library you're going to go to steam apps common and then Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. This has all of the game's files stored within, similarly to other games that we have here too. You're gonna go over to Local Data, and then click the 1955 4A44. If it's a different folder for you, click that one. Just don't click the um, eight zeros. That's not what we want here. And then you're just gonna click this uh, quadruple zero folder, and then click Select Folder. I already have this pulled open in a different window. It's gonna start pulling all the assets from there. It will take a while. If your system is better, you know, you have you know, newer parts, faster parts, it's going to load faster, of course. If your computer is slower, it's going to take a lot longer. Exporting, exact same thing. It's going to take a while to export any of these. Again, make sure you're not ripping these. You have to use these images with permission because they are um, copyright protected. Just make sure you're doing that, of course. Um, but yeah, so the, once it's loaded, you guys will see, we can go ahead and take a look exactly how everything uh, looks in the system and how we navigate the Asset Studio GUI program. And so now that the program has finished running, we're gonna go over to, so this sheet in hierarchy, we don't really care about this. You can look through the files here. This is more so for reference on how the game is structured. And I'm not gonna go into that here because it is long. Obviously this list, this game is very small for a lot of Unity games. But from here, we're gonna go over to the asset list. And then from here, we can actually see all of the containers. So that's where the folders are within the game's files where they're pulling from. This type right here signifies what kind of uh, file we're looking at. So here, a shader, is something that uh, col it, it's a it's a way of coloring um, or programming behavior onto colors um, or assets or texts or sprites anything like that the texture 2d is what i'm most curious about though here this is going to be um, some uh, monster art here we're actually uh, this looks like a pop-out image whenever you see uh, say elvich the golden lord um, drytron uh, medionis draconids anything like that um, you can see them pop out as character arts. Uh, some of the whole just rare cards you'll see pop out. That's what this is basically. So this might be for a cutscene. This might be, I think this is for one of the dual terminal. I'm not sure which monster this is offhand, but that's what that specific one is for. We can also see that this is some card art too. You can get uh, Malicious Bane right here. Evil here, Malicious Bane. Um, that is, I'm not sure what that one is, but it is versus um, Synchro versus Graffa. Um, and this is uh, uh, Prominence, the Doomkeeper or something or another, played in Sword Soul and Common Charity, and then you have a bunch of cards here. We can search these by the type. So I'm going to go expand this here. So this preview just allows you to see exactly what the heck you're looking at. Um, great way of doing it. And then this animation clip, it's just uh, really a program that tells you, or a script that tells exactly what's going on here. 
Um, the mono behavior just says, hey, this is how a thing is supposed to function when it triggers. Um, this is really basic. Honestly, Unity and the way Master Duel is made is very basic. It does look very nice, though, considering. Um, these sprites are things you'll see, say, in the solo mode, menus, everything like that. Um, you can see basically everything from here. You can see the normal slash rare festival. So any of the leaks you see are based on using this kind of program, any kind of program that allows you to take a look and rip uh, assets. Again, you have to always remember that you're not supposed to download these and re-upload them um, without permission of the owner because that is theft. I don't want to ever tell you guys to do something you're not supposed to do, um, at least in the United States. I don't know about other countries, but for here, you can see just everything really. And this is how a lot of leaks happen. Um, let me go ahead and take a look at the game's files. We can see exactly where the new cards are. So they're, they're gonna be in the Textures 2Ds folder. Um, I already know just because I looked through here. Um, I was the one who originally saw um, the Rest of Dawn of Majesty um, and I was the one who originally leaked that and so they were coming out. So we can see a lot of cards here. Um, we're gonna go ahead and keep looking. You can also see what cards and, and everything else is coming. Um, to the game. I was also the one who found out the new solo modes. Um, here we go. Ad Libitum of Despia. This is a Burst of Destiny card in the TCG, um, as well as the OCG, but specifically with the TCG, because we don't have any of those Burst of Destiny cards here. It exists at the, as this 16497 in the game's folders in Texture 2D. If you were to export all of these to your system, I have already done that myself. Um, you can look at the card name and use that 16497 and then take a look at a high quality render. I'm going to go ahead and show that right now and then show you guys exactly how this works. You can go ahead and take a look at these beforehand. This is also how we found out that there were going to be new story modes. There were Mecha Phantom Beast and Light Sworn and Weather Painter and Herald um, assets here that weren't already in the game. They were put within the game files, but they weren't playable quite yet. So we had to know that uh, those would be added sometime later. You can see that Pendulum Monsters, let's see if I can find that again. Pendulum Monsters are stored in a weird way because all Pendulum Monsters, when they are created, have a full art. Basically, they are all full art. They have that extension below because the, the monster text and the pendulum text doesn't quite reach where it should compared to a normal monster. No, all other monsters like that are non-pendulums will just have that square box um, for their card art, as you can see right here. This is what all regular monsters look like. They are made this way. Some of them have full arts too, but specifically the pendulum monsters, they will all look this way. And you can actually stretch them out in Photoshop to perfectly match what they are supposed to look like. You'll stretch it from um, the end of a card to the, uh, to the other end of the card in order to get the correct sizing for these pendulum monsters. And then they scale perfectly. You can replace them anytime. I'll also make a, a whole video on how to create renders using these assets too. Again, don't don't download these, don't upload these anywhere. Um, this is just to show you guys exactly what, how the, how the system interprets everything and what we can do from there. Let me go ahead and show you guys exactly where the cards are and what they look like when you do have them exported through Asset Studio GUI. So now we have the most recent downloads I've had or exportation of these assets. So you can see if we go over to the Textures 2D folder, everything will start populating. It's going to be a little bit of time for to, for the system to load everything. And the reason is there are a bunch of images here. You can see that this is going through literally tens of thousands of files. So this, from what I've seen, actually goes in almost the set order for the OCG. If we scroll down, we're gonna scroll down very, very far. Of course, I use Google Chrome as my default photo viewer. It's just easier whenever I'm, I'm like editing videos or opening anything like that. Um, so we can see right here, this is actually, let's see, scroll down a little bit more. And then you can see some of the uh, Lightning Overdrive. So Lightning Overdrive cards came out before this, um, the Ancient Guardians pack in the OCG. We got it afterwards. And then you can see uh, Lightning Overdrive, the Ancient Guardians, and then you can see some Pendulum Monsters before. And then you can actually see right here we have Despia cards. These just came out a couple months ago in Master Duel, and these are from the Dawn of Majesty set here in the TCG and OCG. Afterwards, we're going to scroll down a little more. We can see that these are the Synchro Storm in the TCG. Um, we can see a lot of those cards there. But if we scroll down just a little bit further, ah, here we are. We can see Swords. So these are currently not in the game whatsoever. You cannot play these cards yet until the update. Actually, it's going on right now as I record this video. But you'll see this once you guys see this uh, maybe tomorrow. Um, these have been added to the game. I'm not sure why Moye is on here twice. Maybe one of them is... 
Um, the lower quality art, let's go ahead and see maybe one of them's higher quality, we can always compare them. Sometimes they just store them twice uh, for whatever reason, it may be um, specialty, but you can also see right below is that this is another way that we find um, which icons are going to be added, or mates in this case. Um, you can see Toon Dark Magician, you can see Element of Hero Stratos. Um, I don't know if Gazelle is in the game yet, Skull Servant, don't remember if he's in the game yet. Um, and then I want to say this is some ninja card, and then looks like uh, one of the Ghost Trick jack o lantern cards, Institution's in there. Um, Noble Arms Excalibur, I'm not sure why this is in the game or why that's a mate, but that it is what it is. Um, then we have Book of Moon, um, Cleefort Monolith that's already in the game. Uh, some of these are already in the game, Shard of Greed, I'm not sure if that's in there. DD Ghost, I'm not sure if it's in there. Um, same with Marshmallow and Kariba. And then uh, Danger Jackalope is going to be another mate as well. Um, there are a couple of other things we see in here. For example, um, let's see. This is a Dream Mirror. This is UA. This is Six Samurai. And then this is Nephthys. And then looks like there's another hero section. I'm not sure if this is going to be this uh, Secret Blast or this uh, wh whichever card this is. If those are going to be... Uh, solo modes, th these couple, but there are going to be those UA Nephthys, uh, Dream Mirror, and Six Samurai. Those will be new solo modes as well. Um, if they haven't already been added to the system, you can see some of the other assets too. All the backgrounds are in here. They are absolutely gorgeous. They look fantastic when they're played in the game, um, but this is how we see all the leaks. Um, and really, it's a very simple program. It does exactly what it's supposed to do. There's also going to be a danger um, a danger mission. I forgot to, to say that too. Um, that was one of the, the backgrounds there. Really, this is how leaks happen. And uh, unless you already like know how Unity works, it's not the easiest thing to learn. But that's why I want to show you guys exactly how these leaks are done because a lot of people ask online how people find these. There's a whole Master Duel leaks uh, web page dedicated to this, but you can see all the assets here. I can always go into what these, why these are green and red here. If you guys are interested in the future, why this color looks the way it is. Um, basically boils down to how the game interprets these. These are all texture mappings. This is how the game interprets a bunch of things. So this is like a mate. This is another mate. That's how the textures wrap around the 3D models in a certain way. That's the very basis of it. If we want to get more technical, we always can in the future. Um, you can also see the animation files are in here as well. Theoretically, you can animate them yourselves. It does take a long time because we don't have the same programs. We don't use the exact same scripts that the system uses, um, that Unity uses. Theoretically, you could. Um, but it would take a lot longer for us to have them because we'd have to rebuild the entire Master Duel engine system um, on our own and then use that script for it to work properly. That is unfortunately how it is, but you can also manually edit them. We can also see some of the new icons that are gonna be here. Jacob Berserker, Warrior Digrefer, um, Danger Bigfoot, one of the Mayakashi monsters, Revenge Red Slayer, uh, Karibo Token, looks like a BLS one. I think there's already in the game, not sure. Um, Upstart Goblin, I don't remember if that's in the game too. Thunder Dragon Colossus, um, True King of All Calamities, House Dragon Maid, Fallen of Albaz. Um, we're going to have a lot of new icons, especially once the solo mode comes out. Yeah, so it looks like we're going to have some Dream Mirror ones. I don't know if Crusadia Equimax is going to be in there, looks like. Um, Long Gear will be in there, Jan Danger Nessie, um, Great Shogun Shien, and Nephthys. I think that's the Link Monster, they're Link 3. And then we're going to have some new sleeves. Um, but yeah, this is exactly how this happens, guys. If you guys want to do it yourself, again, for educational purposes, um, that's cool. That's up to you. Again, not, I'm not liable for anything. But this is just to show you guys exactly how leaks happen. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And of course, as always, if you could use our TCG player code, if you guys want to purchase physical cards that you guys see in Master Duel, please do so. In doing so, you guys greatly help the channel. We are almost, again, to 1,000 subs. And that is our first real major milestone. We're going to have a giveaway at 1,000. So make sure you are sharing this like this commenting on this and uh share it with your friends to have them like comment and subscribe too this is eric with those on tcg we will see you guys in the next one